Cincinnati will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 22. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here they come. Going right, intercepted. He's at the 40, at the 30. And they make the stop at the 26. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 11. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Boy, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 26-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Cincinnati's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And down he goes at the 32. And he's level at the 20. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Heading for the corner. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Cincinnati is up a score. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Gets to about the 41 yard line. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. And here's a quick throw, and it's going the other way. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball.
First and ten. Ball on their own 21. Mike 51. Mike 51. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 21. Number two takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 21 yard line. Mike 51, Mike 51. That brings up third and 10. Here we go, here we go. Check, check. Check, check, check. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. That'll make it fourth and 10. And this one is a beauty. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Cincinnati is up seven. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at about the 49. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Makes it out to about the 39. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Number two on the tackle. That'll make it second and seven. Down immediately. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. That'll bring up fourth down. What do you think they'll do? I don't know what they'll do, but I think they should just kick the field goal. It's early in the game, so I'd take the safe three points. Not even close. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Shoved out of bounds at the 15. Tackle made. 
around the 18-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. We played one quarter. The Bearcats lead 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's hit immediately. Nice play across the middle. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tackle around the two yard line. That makes it third and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. He might not be able to get the pass off. They bring the quarterback down. That brings up fourth and goal. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Cincinnati holds a four-point lead. And he's taken down at the 33. Fires out to his receiver. That makes it second and two. And he tackles him hard at the 50. Game of 17. Watch the run. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. And he's tackled right away. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. hit before it can go anywhere. So the completion goes for about eight yards at a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get to the quarterback and now the ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Sack makes this a second and long. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. Cincinnati is up by four. And again, they bring him down. Fourth and long here after the sack.
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And he's going to come up with a sack. Call the loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make, make it second, second and long. long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick pass. And they make the stop at the 22. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Steps up an ease, sack for a loss. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Both defenses really played well so far, Irving. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Great concentration to pull it in. Cincinnati is up four. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at the 49. That's a team of four. That makes it seven and six. I got one. I got one. Ready. Zips it to the back. And he is drilled at the 45. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up 32. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. Inside handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an open. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Bearcats lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Iowa State's locked up in a tight battle. They are down at the half right now, but you have to remember in football, each play has a life and a history all its own. You can't spend time looking at the scoreboard and really, I think this team ought to be encouraged rather than discouraged after the way it played in the first half. Well, yeah, Reese, and you talk about each play, there's a couple plays that could have swung this this game the other way, and they could be leading at the half right now instead of being down. So I don't think you get discouraged whatsoever. You've had some success. This game is completely within striking distance. There is no reason to get down. 
find those things that you did well in the first half, continue to go back to them, continue to have success, make a few more plays in the second half. Next thing you know, you look up and you might be winning this ballgame. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Cincinnati holds a four-point lead. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And he's tackled at the 31. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. He tries to buy some time. He launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Put that man open, and he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That brings us fourth and seven. He gets it up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-6, Cincinnati. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bearcats fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. It's a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. They bring him down. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Cincinnati up a point. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 27. Number 26. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 29. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish. Finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. He's tackled around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Just throws this one away. 
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. And they're coming after this punter. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Iowa State, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Cincinnati with a one-point lead. He gets hit out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He decides to run with it. And they push him out at the 42. the middle for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Easy, easy, easy. Fuck two. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Number seven brings him down to the 46-yard line. First down. First down. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. That's a deep five on the ball. That brings him second and five. They'll get him for a loss. down now and they need to get it down to the 36. I think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And he's leveled the 37-yard line. it and that makes it fourth down boy great defense on that play they were expecting the pass and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play they get this one off and it's a beauty and he's hammered down so he got a little on that return well brad early it looked like there was an opening there but the seam closed quickly We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Tackle at about the 35. Cincinnati is up one. 
That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 31-yard line, third down. Caught open field, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Booming kick. Oh, he got nailed on that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. Check, check. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Tailback brought down for a loss. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenders are still stealing the show. 7-6, Bearcats. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. And they make the stop at the 37. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Pulls it in, first down, and he's not going to bounce. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. This one will fall incomplete. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. immediately tackled. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Makes it out to about the 10. That's a great tackle at the 13. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he's hit immediately. That makes us a He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Caught it, and the conversion. 
completion is good. So a 12 play 74 yard drive and they get eight points after that two point conversion. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 52, Mike 52. Fires across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 46. Number six makes the tackle. Less than three minutes in the game. He's on the run. and brought down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. That'll be a gain of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it and keep moving the defense back. Here's an opening. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. Iowa State is up a score. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Cincinnati's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's into the open field. Brought down in the open field. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Makes it out to about the 19. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Here's a handoff up the middle, and no room to run. Fights forward to about the 16. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Five.
Final score lower than we expected. 14-7, Cyclone. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.